Hello, my name is Emma Turner and this is my colleague Adam Highland and we're from Diversity and Ability, or other, otherwise known as DNA. DNA is um, a social enterprise and we work towards diversity and inclusion in the education sector, in the workplace and across society as a whole really. Um, as a disabled led org organisation, we know all about facing challenges and isolation and understand the best and most effective ways to connect in an unconnected world. We help organisations and people to shift to places where inclusion and accessibility are woven into the fabric of their environments. So that can include one-to-one -one support for individuals like assistive technology training, or mental health mentoring and strategy coaching, but also things like group workshops and CPD, recruitment and communication consultancy, right through to strategic and leadership coaching and consultancy. But in response to this immediate situation that we're all facing, we want to help you to support your staff in the best way possible. So what we're doing is broadening out our offer to offer one-to-one -one mental health coaching and online group wellbeing sessions for you and your entire workforce to ensure that you are offering an objective ear to listen to your staff. So why is this important? You'll have seen the news items across the board where this situation is not just about COVID-19, but it's, it's also very clearly impacting people's mental health. And it's what we would like to do is support the well-being of your entire workforce and because it's never been more important right now. So how you hold your employees through this situation will really impact positively or negatively on how well they return to work once this rather peculiar situation is over. So just to help us, I'd like to um, ask a few questions to Adam. Um, uh, that will hopefully give you a little bit of more information about how it, why this is important. So, Adam, when do you know that you and all your team would benefit from some one-to-one -one coaching or support? Well, thank you, Emma. I think that's a really good and uh, important question, and certainly not an easy one to start with, uh, because I think the answer is that you don't know when people need it. Um, Probably, I think there's still a lot of stigma around mental health in society, and people are not always comfortable um, uh, asking for support, and especially in this current climate where there are new unknowns and more and more people are working in isolation. They probably don't uh, maybe necessarily know what the support is available. So for us at DNA, it's about being proactive, it's about anticipating uh, the need for it and just being proactive and really not be afraid to talk about uh, isolation, talk about wellbeing and talk about mental health. And you know, I think when you did your introduction, you mentioned about the importance of holding our workforce because you know, there will be business as usual, hopefully in the not so distant future and getting that support now will have a huge impact on how businesses do go back to business as usual. Yeah. The recovery process for business is is going to be made uh, made a lot easier. Yeah, supporting your staff. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are the benefits of getting outside help at this time? Well, the best ability have been supporting the world for a de decade now, and you know, some of the conversations that would help about well-being and feeling supported and being isolated. Mm -hmm. uh, often quite a delicate conversation to have and um, diversity and ability having a, a, a team that is trained uh, has huge experience and expertise in supporting individuals um, around them and your health and well-being and I think having support from the outside means that you're showing uh, your staff, how valued they are, 
Mm. You're willing to give time and investment into their well-being, and it creates a safe space where they're not disclosing things that maybe they might feel slightly uncomfortable disclosing internally, but mm. feel more comfortable uh, having those challenging conversations with a external um, organisation. Yeah, and what do you think of the barriers are that are stop that might stop business owners from getting this help? I think the barriers are um, often not knowing that this support is available, mm-hmm. and it's not a new support mechanism. It's you know, we we offering um, well-being and mental health uh, um, services for uh, many years now. I think knowing about it um, is a huge barrier and I think maybe understanding that there's a huge business case for this. Mm-hmm. It's not mm-hmm. just about doing the right thing, it's about protecting your workforce, protecting your business so that when we do go back to business as usual, um, the, st- the st- staff and the workforce feel like ready to come back fighting and, and maybe hit the ground money. Yeah, and uh, I wonder if there's also a fear of feeling like they're say, saying, oh, um, there's a weakness here and, and uh, you know, we don't want, to, we, we want to support you through this, but it's, it's kind of that fear of not saying the, the right thing. And I think actually we're here to, to, to be there as a support mechanism. And it's important to highlight that you may well need it. And I don't know if you need it, but this is, let's sing from the rooftops that this is available. And it's not about saying, I think you need mental health support. So therefore this is here is actually for everybody who might need it at different points in time. We all have physical health and that sometimes we're physically well and sometimes we're less well. And it's exactly the same with mental health. And right now we're facing um, bigger challenges. And it's about culture. If we can create coaches in organisations, that are willing to have these conversations, be transparent, be open, be confident about uh, being, being able to provide these support mechanisms. I think as the truth will change, mm-hmm. I think more and more employees will feel comfortable yeah. accessing many important and, and needed support. Yeah. So in summary, um, you know, we've been doing this kind of remote support for many, many years, over a decade. We're well positioned to understand the challenges that people face. Um, and diversity and inclusion is good for business, full stop. There's heaps of research out there that will back that up, just Google it. <laughs> and uh, during this time is an ideal, ideal opportunity to start shaping and planning for your inclusive workplace when we return to it. So um, we can help you with that shift. We can make it achievable, fit for purpose, and hopefully enjoyable. Yep, so uh, if you want to find out more, then uh, please do get in touch and we'll be more happy to share our uh, expertise and, and we'd love to collaborate and support you in your dreams. Brilliant. Our website is diversityandability.com.